Many things set Apple apart from the competition. Whether it be their ability to maintain secrets or their sleek designs, Apple continues to maintain one of the most coveted phones on the global market. Despite Apple already making a boatload of money from the iPhone in the App Store, that just isn't enough for them, and the Apple Car might be something we see in the near future. While not much is yet known about the car, one thing we do know for sure is that the different concepts are wild as far as different variations and models that we've seen the Apple car potentially looking like. Unfortunately, while many of these models seem to look very futuristic and insanely cool, the Apple car might look a little bit more dorky than we're expecting. For starters, the Apple car will of course be all electric, as many cars that we'll talk about on this channel will be. Unfortunately, one thing that the Apple car is doing that's slightly different from its potential competitors such as Tesla, is that Apple will be co-manufacturing their car, meaning that another company will actually be making the Apple car. While this might not sound too crazy at first, it gets a little bit more complicated when you look at Apple's current products and how it operates as a company, and then the potential result you would have of an Apple car produced with some of these co-manufacturers. Traditionally, Apple phones are almost seen as a status symbol, costing somewhere around 1,000 US dollars. Much more than many other phones that really do the same function, Apple almost has people pay a luxury price for some of their products, something that many people are willing to do. With that being said about Apple iPhones, when it comes to an Apple car, who would we suspect to be some of these co-manufacturers? Well, if we've talked to someone who's never really known anything about the Apple co-manufacturing news, they might say BMW, Audi, hey, maybe even Rolls-Royce or McLaren. Unfortunately, that's not the case, and most of the companies Apple has looked to pair up with have been companies such as Hyundai, Kia, Toyota, and Nissan. While all these car companies are very good car companies, some even being way more affordable, practical, and long-living than some of the aforementioned luxury brand cars, do they really seem like an Apple partner? Something that you'd want to know made your Apple car? That may be a question some answer no to, posing a potential roadblock for the Apple car. In addition to this, there's other downsides to Apple co-producing. This includes having less control over the car and the end product, as well as having some customers not believing it's a true Apple car if it was made by a company such as Nissan, Toyota, or Kia. On the flip side, Apple may be able to produce a very affordable electric car that's even self-driving with the Apple brand name that many people can actually afford. This, on the other hand, could actually be very good for the average person and society. While it might not evoke the luxury brand that Apple iPhones seem to, it could be something that many people have, afford, use, and benefit from. This could overall have a positive impact on society. And at the end of the day, Apple might not want to create an overpriced luxury product. They might instead want to actually help people and create something affordable for everyone. Now, production of an affordable Apple car might sound great, but who's going to produce it? As many of these Apple co-manufacturer talks have fallen flat and Apple still has not found someone to co-manufacture with. Unfortunately, an Apple car might be as far out as 2024 or even later. While Apple continues to look for a co-manufacturer, we'll continue to look at the Apple concept cars online and think of which one's our favorite. And feel free to let me know which one's your favorite in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe, and thanks for watching Interest Things.